This is it, the dream garage come to life. Five of the hottest super exotics assembled on a strip of tarmac, ready to blast off into the horizon. Thanks to the fantasy fulfillment specialists of world-class driving, we've managed to corral $1.1 million worth of exotic hardware at a decommissioned airbase in Southern California. On hand are the Audi R8, Ferrari's F430, the Lamborghini Gallardo LP560, the Maserati Gran Turismo, the Mercedes McLaren SLR Coupe. We gathered them all here for our usual array of instrumented acceleration, braking and handling tests. Anything else? Of course. Ever wonder what a million dollar drag race looks like? Here it is, from the vantage point of the SLR. That's it, 11.8 seconds is all the mighty Mert needs to cover a quarter mile and finish in first position. But there's a lot more to it than that. Let's look at the race again. At launch, the lightweight Ferrari and all-wheel drive Lamborghini leap off the line, followed close behind by the Mercedes SLR. What about the Gran Turismo and R8? At 4,300 pounds and only 400 horsepower, the Gran Turismo is at a severe disadvantage in this group. Same goes for the 420 horsepower R8. Despite far less weight and all-wheel drive, the Audi is simply not geared for VMAX attack. By the 1 8th mile, the SLR starts to leave the 552 horsepower Gallardo and the 483 horsepower F430 behind. 617 horsepower has its advantages. At the finish, it's Mercedes McLaren SLR in first place. The Lamborghini Gallardo LP560 in second, followed by the Ferrari F430. Fourth place is the Audi R8, followed by the Maserati Gran Turismo.